Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich. I'm your host, Mr. Norsk National Revolutionary Government Lover, but right now we must talk about revisionist nationalism. The term revisionist nationalism is a rather apt term to describe our regime. While their opponents use it to attempt to smear us as inferiors, they do not understand that it is in fact a compliment. This guiding ideology of our brilliance has brought us this far, but perhaps we can bring it even further. Perhaps we can even bring it to the Russian people, in which we unlock the core uh, mechanic, which is very nice. A nation of survivalists. Oh, uh, we'll give that one. Or get some more steel. Do we want more steel? Eh, steel's okay. Uh, anything else down here we really want? Building slots concentrated. Ooh, oil is, could be very nice. That's not bad, too. I like that as well. Um, I might concentrate industry in Norals, though. The Brave Frontier. That oil could be super helpful, though. Uh, is there anything else on this side? The first general election? We don't believe in elections here. Uh, expand the Talnak mines. The steel mills of Norilsk are our backbone, and they cannot function without a steady supply of coal and raw iron. We should expand our mines in Talnak to account for this. So now, oh, we can integrate stuff. We need more political powers, which does kind of suck. We can get some foreign legion recruitment, which is kind of cool, but probably, honestly, not going to use that. I mean, obviously, I did have to use cons commands for all this stuff, but, like, I'm not sure. You literally can't, like, win. I mean, you might be able to, like, someone's extremely, extremely good at way 4 I, myself, am not. But we're doing okay. We have no guns. Okay, that's not good. Uh, we need more guns. We need more stuff in general. But after this one, we'll probably concentrate industry in Norilsk. Norilsk is our primary industrial hub, and there's no reason why I shouldn't continue to do so. In the future, we should continue to con concentrate our efforts on industrialization efforts in and around the immediate Norilsk area. Which would be very, 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 very good. As we're waiting, probably go to war with the Perm Soviet government, which... Ah, Mr. Seslav. Which we're probably going to get really beaten down. Which we'll probably have to use cost commands again to... Do okay. Um, and we're losing all the manpower because we have a lot of resistance here and there. So, before we do that, Krasnoyarsk, Western Russia, um, Novosibirsk, Krasnoyarsk, uh, Novosibirsk and Tomsk would be probably good ones to core. It's going to take quite a few days, but that's alright. And after that, uh, can, we, can we actually go to war with any of these guys? Integrate, reunify Russia, integrate these guys, integrate the Far East. We just have to be at war with them, so that's going to take a while to do. We'll do this one. And then. Concentrate industry, but at the same time, let's go and go through some comments, shall we? Of course we shall, we got a couple of them. Such as, Norsk is pain, but that's why I love it, says somebody. Could you please do a playthrough such as Ivan Tur Turkinich, Pavel Frankel, Ivan Vrachev, and Alexandra Zelenskaya, and of course Vasily Rakov and Nikita Khrushchev after the series, and maybe eventually. Yeah, sure, maybe eventually. Uh, someone also says, uh, just waiting for Serov to give us his approval on comment, Doe. Ah, the mighty algorithm, of course, Nazball gang, of course. And then, more Nazballs, please. Thank you for doing this. I still expect a Kaganovich TMN series, though, which I've done in uh, TNL, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, yeah, I don't, I, I kind of don't like his uh, portrait right now. Brezhnev, his portrait is kind of uh, more historical to his own face, but if you want to that, please go right ahead. But hmm. he is who he is, but then we're also going to do Factory Town. And then also over the years has gained a unique reputation as a factory city for all sorts of industry. And it's high time that the city regained this prestige once again. Followed up with Norsk Petrol. We have great oil wells across the nation, but none of which have been used for years. We should restart the Norsk Petrol industry and get our black gold flowing once again. Alright everyone, so basically here we're at. We've taken out the Far East by cons commands, quite literally, because the Perm government declared war on us. And I've had to use, use a lot of cons commands to delete a lot of their units because you literally just cannot win as Norsk. So... At this point, I don't care about using cons commands, especially for this campaign. Like, this is impossible to do. So, it is what it is. Um, we did core a lot of the territory on the Far East, which is nice, but at the same time, we just can't literally do anything. Just because it's so bad. Um, the perfect government keeps going to war with other people, which is fine with me. I don't really care. But at the same time, like, this is, a, this is an impossible campaign to do. Legitly. So, um, it is what it is. We went to war with Latvia as well, but... Yeah, this campaign is not great. At least in terms of, like, warfare. Because it's just... I'm not saying it should be balanced, but, like... It's really not balanced at all. Oh, wait. We need a chief of army. Oh. Well. We still need more daily army XP. Let's block this up to more defense. It's not, still not bad to get. And we're going to go all the way down here, just so we can circle these guys that are around here. And hope they do okay. As India's killing itself. Yay! Alma Atta? Yes, please. Alright, go on over there too. Do that, do that. Yeah, I mean, I had, to I had to lead a lot of their divisions, which does suck, but, I mean, there's literally nothing else we can do about that. And it looks like I'm probably going to delete more divisions, because 
we you just can't compete. You literally just can't compete. This is getting a bit ridiculous here, I would say. And uh Yeah, no, I'm sorry, it's just this is too much. We try the best we can, but sometimes it's just not enough. And I refuse to get encircled by crappy uh, enemy divisions. Alright, everyone. So now here we're at, and basically use Khan's commands to the extreme degree. Um, we got a lot of political power. It, this has been a pain in the butt. I hate this so much. I hate doing stuff like this. We took Moscow just because we, well, we just lost Moscow. But this has been extremely annoying. And at this point, force the attack. I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm really sick of this. This is really annoying to do. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a lot of fun having these Khan's all the time, bouncing between nations, pretty much trying to eliminate them as much as possible. But. This is not a lot of fun. Norilsk can't recommend. Just can't recommend in general because it's not a lot of fun. Because, uh, well, you're just really extremely underpowered. And I'm not saying it shouldn't be underpowered, but it's just a bit too difficult, in my opinion, to really enjoy. So, or Moscow is not the capital. Petrograd, huh? Uh, even, even at this stage, like, us trying to do well here, hmm, we'll see. Like, our divisions are not terrible. I converted all these guys 18 combo with. Normal infantry, engineers, artillery, the standard stuff. Even then, it's not... It's not super easy. So, uh, you should probably just go straight on in and do that if you possibly can. Of course, it's 1958 right now. Uh, get some better fighters if you possibly can. That'd be good, 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 good. I guess come down here if possible, if possible, if possible. Surround and destroy them all. And we ran out of manpower once again. Even though I did switch to volunteer only. We can go to limited conscription for now, just because we can. Also, I didn't tell you, but we did do the focus of uh, a nation of survivalists. To, ensure, to survive the lands of Norsk, one must be strong enough to endure its cold. To be able to go hungry for days or even weeks at a time, and we must have the ability to defend oneself should the need arise. We are those people, survivors of the far north tundra. Let the world know that our land is one that has endured great many hardships in the past, so come what may. Oh, why do they keep deploying soldiers here? What the heck? What the heck? Um, this point, force it. I, I don't care, just force it. They have to die. Oh, okay, good. But, yeah, this was a pain in the butt. I hated this so much. It was not worth doing. I probably won't be doing rolls for a very long time because it's just not fun. That's why I saved the manpower for integrating all these places. And then do that one and reunify Russia. <clears throat> Russian National Soviet Government. I'm returning capital to Moscow. Oh, National Bolshevik Reunification in Russia. Totally didn't use cons commands. Against all odds, Norwell's schizophrenics have successfully reunified Russia. Call themselves the Communist Socialist Party. This incredible government from Norwell's has managed to defeat all regional rivals. This national Bolshevik government promises real Soviet communism and pan-Slavic Russian nationalism. Integra international experts are utterly perplexed and are struggling to comprehend the situation. Is that the entire focus tree? Is that all? Is that really all? Seriously? Uh, well, I guess I would say this nation needs a little more love. It really does need more love. Well, maybe not, like, military-wise, but, I don't know, I think it, it, it could definitely use more love. It could definitely use more love. Um, I guess we technically do have to do with these guys as well. We don't get almost any political power at all, which sucks so much. I mean, even without doing a focus, we only get .38, which is pretty darn bad in my opinion, but who am I to say? Uh, we don't have a lot of army XP either, which does quite suck quite a bit. So, we're going to grab some more arty, grab some more arty, grab some more arty, make a 27 combo width, because that's a good combo width. We're going to grab some logistics. We're going to grab motorized up to this part. Oh, that's kind of nice. But we're going to drastically increase everything we can have here. Get more political power. Get some more army XP because we definitely need to expand the army XP. And, uh... Integrate Ukraine. Can we not go to war with anyone else? Why don't we get the, those options? We get weapon development. Uh, I do want to do at least integrate Ukraine and southern Russia. And maybe go to war with the Great Tegatisho Reich. I think that sounds like fight against fight against Hadrish. He has almost no manpower as well, which is good. Uh, at least go to war with him, and then maybe go to war with Latvia and at least the Republic of Finland. Because I guess it's probably the last episode, because, I mean, they're using cons commands. There really wasn't much of an option for us to do anything, so we'll see what happens in just a little bit. And here we are, at everybody. How to use cons commands go to war with the good old GGR, as well as the Latvian Deuterinos. But oh, maybe I should have uh, maybe done this first. Maybe getting a little more planning, but we should be okay. I had to use cons commands to, uh, pretty much do everything in this campaign. It does kind of suck, but, um, just had to use cons commands to make sure we go to war with these guys. Uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely a campaign. Uh, let's go through here. Oh, just go to Theodorexhofen. And we do need Southern Russia. We are trying to integrate, uh, Southern Russia. And, well, you know what, since we are together, return to the capital of Moscow. The old capital of the Soviet Union, Moscow has been liberated, though it lies in ruin, a show of its former self. We must return the capital of Moscow officially to show that the once fractured nation is no more. Very nice. 
Got a few more of these things. We need way more already because we are, you know, using a lot of already now. Got a lot of sport equipment, which is pretty nice, actually. But still. Um, don't think... Uh, yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. That all we had to do was that. And they'll die. For our amusement, which is good. Oh, we got all this too, which is actually really nice. Ooh, more divisions? We'll take more divisions, please. Thank you. Actually, at this point, just take everybody up here and do that. Should be fine. And they'll go to Finland and call it a campaign. I mean, we could go to war with Germany, but actually, they have people's Germany here at Hans Alster, which is actually kind of cool. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Not bad, not great. Really not great, but not bad. Supplies. Now we got plenty of guns. And there goes Lafia as well. Wait, what? Why can't we take them? Thank you, my good sir. And we'll see what happens when we go to war with Finland. And once again, we have no stability, but... Elena Brezhnev's portrait changed again. We've seen three different Leonids here. Is that really late? Is that really him? I'm not really sure. I mean, no, I didn't use any commands, console commands against these guys. I mean, did use they allowed diplo console command, but other than that, we can rebuild Moscow. No, wait. We weapons development. Well, we'll see. Because we did get that option earlier, but yeah, this campaign was special, very special, special in a way that is special. Oh, there goes Mussolini. Also, Greece is still in a civil war. The Hellenic State versus the Kingdom of Greece. These nobodies, little nobodies versus right-wing populism. So, yeah. And Hungary is looking just god-awful. I hate this so much. What the heck, Hungary? Gezateleki? Why? Why you make it look so ugly, Hungary? And the Republic of Korea is down there, too. So. Other that, not really much else we can really do. Um, just keep, keep, keep telling the guys, go on in. Do the best y'all can. Um, yeah. In fact, the truckers, I mean, at this point, now we're doing okay, because we, we are 27 combat with a plenty of artillery. But, like, earlier, it just... I don't know. Some nations just... They're not meant to, really, be prime-time fighters and stuff, so... Head down there, surround and destroy Helsinki, maybe. Make it go kaboom. The good stuff. Goodbye, Helsinki. Goodbye. Who needed stability? Tampara? Turku? Goodbye, sir. Thank you for Turku. Now it's okay. Once you can actually have some sort of population. No population is no bueno. They're also building up a lot of... I know roads are not really worth it, but we're building a lot of roads. I just mostly fuel and stuff like that, too. And industry? Sure, why not? Not really needed right now. Division speed goes up by 20%, but Seattle takes power. And there goes Finland. I spent a lot more time actually recording off... Doing stuff off-screen than actually recording on-screen. The British of Finland. Uh, Democratic Republic. That's fine. As long as they're under us. There we go. Democratic Republic. Wait, why are they Stalinists? This is not making any sense, man. Why are they Stalinists? We're definitely not Stalinists, we're just National Socialists here. I rebuild Moscow. And Sylvester, uh, uh, St. Petersburg. That's the best of all we really wanted to, but I think that's going to end it here for me. I, I, I'm kind of tired of this campaign. It's a short video and stuff like that, but like, this was really flipping difficult. I did it just because someone wanted it, so. Hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.